Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp Loan Calculator using GMT function. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. This is the details of Richard Rich and I leave the number one enrichment with Richmond. There we go, those are the de details of Richard Rich. So all you need to do if you need to add another individual detail, just click on this reset button and add their details in there. And let's say that is Ashley. Ashley Way he lives in number five. Lead to town. How much loan? There we go. How long? He's paying for seven years and rate at the rate of 6.9. You just need to click on that, and that's, that's it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C Sharp development environment and we'll put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of a loan calculator using TMT function. I'm going to start by clicking on create new and let's select C Sharp. The one I intend to use is going to be the windows forms application so in there i'm just going to enter cs underscore loan underscore pmt okay so let's click on correct there we go so i'm going to just I don't like define my form just about that much and the next thing I want to do now is to add some components on board so let's come right here go to the toolbox let's grab hold of I'm gonna need some buttons yeah I would need about three of those so this can always be enhanced then I need label grab hold of a label then text box come right down here grab all of a text box there we go I have all the components I intend to use there so so select all of these components and come straight to the properties let's increase the font size to something a little bit much more readable so I'm gonna make that bold and let's select about five four there we go now the label I'm gonna need let's say you want to take a loan you should know the name of the individual who is obtaining the loan so we're going to need one for the name and maybe the address as well then i will need about three more here to move everything up there and just three more and here is going to be the personal details in there that is going to be listed as the name. There. And the text box that's going to be this one that will be TXC name. There we go. Here is going to be the address. So enter address there and the text box in front of it that will be address then this label is that's going to be the amount of learn there we go so the text box in front of it we might as well just change that to txt txt amount of learn no space in between okay now this one is going to be number of years for payments something like that so let's come right there to the here let's enter number of years and the text box in front of it let's change that to num txt number of years 
right there. Let's check this one out. Okay, that's fine. And this one, that is going to be the interest rates. Interest rate there, then this is going to be known as TXT interest rate. All right, that's fine. And these two text box there, I'm going to delete them. I actually want label so that it can now be enhanced. So the both of them, select it and come right here. You see where we have auto size, I'm going to change that to false. The background color, I'm going to change it to white. Then the border style, make that fixed 3D. And come right here, get married of the text content we have in there. And that's it. So we just bring them down. Now, let's do one more thing. This label itself, we call that as going to be the monthly payment. It's fine. And the text, the label, it's a label. That's going to be LDL monthly payment. Okay, this other label, so let's change that to total payment. And the label in front of you, that's going to be LBL, LBL total payment. There we go. That takes care of that. Now, the button. This is going to be just the calculate loan. Calculate loan. And let's create another one for reset and one here for exit. Exit, and this is going to be the meeting and exit. Here, that's going to be reset. Meeting and reset. Um, right underneath here, that's going to be reset, and this is going to be BTN calculate loan. There we go. All right, hold on. I'm going to kind of like just draw these that much. We bring them down as well. Then the address. Um, let's click on here and just change that to multi line just in case it's going to be multi line, so that's fine. And the name as well. Okay, so that's fine. Now let's put together. Let's put something together now. Okay, let's leave it like that. So let's double click on this calculate loan, the button. So I'm going to first of all start by declaring the following private variable. So let's come in here and just say private double, and that is going to be let's call that interest. Interest rate. Okay, that's the first one. And the next one is going to be double. And that will be number of years. Okay, that's fine. Then let's declare another one that is going to be amount of no that would be loan amount okay that's good let's create another one for monthly payment and total payment so let's set that as well just come in here and call that total total payment monthly payments 
So let's change this one to monthly payment. So those are the four or five variables I intend to use. So that's good enough. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to have to create a function, a financial class with a PMT method. So let's come in here underneath here. Might as well do that underneath here. So let me say public. Yeah, make that popular public. Static. Class. Finance. Financial. So we come right there. Enter statement block. And then the next thing is going to be another public static, but I want that to be double. So I may accept this and change it around. So let's get rid of all of this. Public static double. PMT and in there I'm going to enter the following so let's say that is going to be double paste that in there double rates comma double let's say n par then we say double EV then another double FV and let's make that zero and double pipe comma double pipe plus equal zero. So come right out here, let's enter statement block right. Okay, so let's take care of this. So in here, I'm just going to enter double to take care of the PMT error there. So that's going to be result. Let's say the results, that's going to be equals to rate. Let's multiply that by PV. And we can then divide that by 1 minus math dot power of uh, I'm going to say that will be brackets 1 plus rate comma minus n n power here yeah. accepted Okay, that is fine. But we must return this. So let's come down and just say return. Return the result. There we go. The error is gone. So that's the function. You guys will need that. Let's see if I can zoom so that you can see it. You will need this very function. Without that, you won't be able to take care of your calculations. So, so now to take care of the calculation come let's come right down here and double click on the calculator so we do as follows we need the interest this one here the interest the amount and so on so let me grab hold of all of this instead of copying instead of wiping it all over so i'm going to first of all start with the interest Delete this, delete this as well, and this. So the interest that is going to be equals, let's first of all convert whatever we have inside. That's going to be the TXT interest rate double. Open a bracket and we just say TXT interest rate. dot tax and that we have to divide that by 100 then divide by 12 that one is sorted, sorted. 
The next one. Let's take care of the number of years. The number of years is going to be multiplied by 12. So this is going to be TXC number of years. There we go. That's pretty easy. So finally, we need to take care of the amount. We need to convert that as well. So we'll grab all of all of these. Loan amount. Put that in here. Delete this. And here is going to be TXT. Amount of loan. There we go. So far looking good. Now, what about the monthly? Let's grab all of the monthly payments. Okay, I'm now going to call the financial function here. So financial function dot em dot p m t and in there let's take care of the interest rate the interest rate copy that and I will also copy the monthly no the number of years copy that and finally amount of learn let's grab all of that and paste it right here there we go okay that is taken care of now let's take care of the total payments so let's copy that and just enter total payment right there total payment that will be equals monthly payment that will be multiply by number multiply by number of years okay so that's fine so now but i need to add all of these straight onto the label so let's say lbm no l b l monthly payment so i'm going to set that and just modify it lbl multi payment equals multi payment okay let's convert that into pound that should be a c all right that's done then the next thing is i need lbl total lbl total that is going to be the total so i'm going to accept that that is correct okay lbl total dot convert that to string and give me the pound sign and finally i'm going to say total amount dot text and dot text that to be equals double dot pass and what am i passing that's going to be amount of the loan but i still have to convert this to string dot to string and assign the pound the pound sign c there we go and that's and that's that taken care of okay we can try that out just to make sure it works so let's click on run okay there we go so let's enter amount in here so let's say one thousand one hundred thousand and number of year five six all we just need to do is click on this there we go look at that that is correct i've actually created one of these using excel so you guys can just have a look at that all right address number one boss down there okay so let's take care of reset and 
exit. So I'm going to take care of the exit first. Okay, let's double click on the exit button. And first of all, I'm going to declare dialog results. So I'll say dialog, dialog result equals, or let's just say I exit. That's my variable name. So I'm now going to say I exit equals message box dot show let's say confirm if you want to exit okay let's give it a title comma enter the title in there loan calculator comma again the message box buttons but yes or no and I'm going to accept that I think that is question message box question okay now let's use an if statement just to check the selection made if I exit equals equals dialog result dot yes enter statement block there then we just want the let's say close there that's it done so all that is left for us now is to take care of the resets okay let's copy okay that is that taken care of what about clear so i'm just gonna copy this yeah, if I copy this three, I can add the others from right here. So double click on reset, paste, and that is reset. We have one, we have two, and we have number three. Then we need, then we have five total to grab all of these. That's seven. TXT address play. TXT name play. TXT rates play. Then one more. TXT number of years clear and that is it so let's run that again enter name and that is jerry let's see set address for how far away An amount of loan number of years rate there we go and click on reset readings and exit works as well yeah so with that guys i'm calling the end of this brilliant tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel and thanks for watching guys you all have a nice day and bye for now all have a nice day bye for now